Hey everyone, and welcome to the Creative Empowerment YouTube channel. Yay! So, uh, I'm so excited to start this journey. This is my first video. Um, today, I want to share some ideas for recognition of staff. We're, you know, coming up towards the end of the year, and <laughs> there's a lot of banquets and celebrations and just small things that we can do to show students and show people around us um, that we appreciate them and that we care. And so I have a project that I got from, I got the inspiration from Gift Basket Appeal. And so I'm going to share that project with you today. And uh, it's pretty simple, it's pretty easy, and I, I hope that you feel empowered to try this project yourself. So for this project, all of the supplies came from the Dollar Tree. So let me show you what we're going to need. We're using these gold picture frames. They come in 3.5 by 5. They also come in 5 by 7, 4 by 6 version. Um, and they have these sentiment stickers, which are really, really cool. There's 134 stickers in this pack. There, there's so many words, so many good words that you can use for this project. So make sure you grab one of those from the Dollar Tree. The other thing that I'm using from the Dollar Tree is foam mounting tape. This is in the like um, the section that has like the all of the glue and the paint brushes and the tools and stuff. Um, this stuff is awesome. It's made by Super Glue, uh, and it's it's really good for craft projects. And then the last thing that I'm going to use, I did not purchase this from the Dollar Store because I already had it in my collection. But I have been in the dollar store and I've noticed lately that they do have paper pads with different um, patterned paper. You could also use a solid sheet of paper or I've seen people take calendars and cut them up to use, you know, just an image. So um, I'm going to use this pattern paper pack from Recollections that I got from Michaels. Okay? This is the um, patisserie <laughs> paper pad. Alright, so these are the these are the supplies. That's all. So let's get started with the project. Alright, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get this frame opened up. Oh yeah. Opened up. Um, you know, flip it over and go ahead and take all of the components out. I'm gonna have us use this part to cut out our paper. So, let's pick a piece of paper. Ah, that's kind of pretty. I don't know, I wonder if the gold will clash. Well, you know what, let's do it. All right, so my paper pad, the pieces of paper are six by six, so they're a little bit bigger than needed, right? So if you put your mat on top, then you can see, oh, that side's pretty too. You can see, you know, so you can kind of use this as a guide. I'm just gonna cut my paper a little bit shorter. And I'm at, voila. So that's what my paper's gonna look like. If you don't have to do this, but if you have a piece of tape, clear tape, you can tape it to the back of the tape it to the back of your mat. Just to, you know, keep it from moving. Keep it from moving. Come on and keep it moving. Alright, so here we go. Now that we have this, next thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out what words we want to put in here and we can jazz it up. So let's go to our stickers. We're going to go to our stickers and we're going to open them up and we're going to pick out nine sentiments that we want to put into our frame. Okay? I actually have a pack already open, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to work from the pack that I have open. Let's see here. I want this to be inspiring, so I want it to be like 
you got this you can do it you're awesome like keep it up it's amazing so I'm gonna use you are the best All right, so I'm going to take Yeah, I'm going to take about 5 of these. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my I'm going to cut my mounting tape in half just to cuz it's so thick. And then we're going to add we're going to add a piece of the mounting tape to the back of each sticker. The other thing that this does is it gives a little bit of dimension so it'll pop a little bit. So um since this one is a little bit longer i'm going to add two pieces to the back Good job. Good job. You cannot stick to the mat. Good job. Good job is really sticking to the mat right now. Oh, okay. Got it. I thought we were going to have to get another word. Okay. Alright, so once you have all your stickers on, then I would say go ahead and line them up on your, inside your mat, inside your frame. The way you want them. I still haven't taken off the back. So you can, if you want to like, you know, angle them, keep them straight, whatever you want to do. It's up to you. Once you have it the way you want it, you can just go ahead and peel off the backs of those mounting tape, of that mounting tape. And just stick it down. Now what I would say, this is one of those places where you don't need to be a perfectionist. Just go ahead and get them stuck down. You know, if they're not perfectly lined up, that's okay. <laughs> it's going to look awesome. It's going to look awesome. And the person that you give this to is going to absolutely love it. Like, it is such a thoughtful gift. Such a thoughtful gift. Oh, this uh, background looks awesome with this. This background is awesome. I'm glad I chose it. Alright, so then once you have all your stickers down, you can go ahead and put your frame back together. Alright, so... Put your pieces down and then you can hang this up using these hooks here or you can stand it up on your desk either way it's going to be a nice addition to an RA's room your office etc all right so here's the big reveal ah okay that is adorable tell me that come on come on that's adorable that's adorable it, you buy a pack of paper, there's probably 24 sheets, 20, 24 sheets in the pack of paper. So we're talking about less than five cents for a sheet of paper. 
we're talking about you're using nine out of 134 stickers. These stickers are less than a penny a piece and your frame from the Dollar Tree. So like this gift is so adorable, it's so thoughtful, and it probably is less than a dollar ten, a dollar and ten cents to make. So just keep it in mind. All right, um, I'm gonna just throw in a couple other examples that I've made so that you can see some variations in this project. If you like this project, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. <laughs> uh, and there'll be a lot more videos to come, so feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any ideas or anything, feel free to leave comments. And I will see you next time. Thank you for joining me on Creative Empowerment. And I hope, I hope you run to the dollar store and grab these items and make yourself a wonderful, wonderful gift or make someone else a gift. All right, see ya.